All right, so I'm out here on Big Spring Creek in um, really right outside of uh, State College. Um, so the goal this morning, or this afternoon really, is to catch a trout on this. This is a some type of rapala. I think it's a floating. Uh, obviously, it's cannot tell where the camera's at. It's kind of like brown trout colored. Um, so I've literally never caught a trout on a plug. I've caught like, you know, bluefish or stripers or smallmouth bass, stuff like that on plugs, but never caught a trout on a plug because I always just use rooster tails. So the goal of this very short, very brief fishing session will exclusively be to catch one. And I mean, if we can catch more than one, that's great. But the goal is to catch one trout, wild brown trout, because we're on Big Spring Creek. The goal is to catch really my first, first trout on, um, oh, this is a really well-trodden fisherman path. We wanna catch one brown trout, at least, on, uh, on this plug. Now, I don't have waders on right now, unfortunately. I'm shore bound, but we're still, even with that, we're still gonna give it the old college try. This is not really where I want to be throwing a $7 plug because um, if I get snagged, I'm kind of stuck. So we'll see how it goes. We're out here on Big Spring Creek in right outside of State College. This is going to be hopefully our first time catching a trout. And I just got stuck on a tree catching a trout on a plug. So let's see how, let's see how it goes. So there are two questions. One, can I, can I stay dry? Can I manage to not get my feet wet? That, that'll be a big hurdle. This, oh, see right there, almost fell in. Um, the bigger question, slightly bigger. Can I catch, can I catch a wild, oh, almost got stuck. Can I catch a wild brownie on a plug? As I said, never caught a trout on a plug. So, and there's like no, no pocket water around here. It's all like raging rapids. But let's see if I can catch a brownie on a plug. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm trying to come up with uh, other catch raises. Like right now it's like got him. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll catch more fish next time. Um, but I'm trying to think of something else like, ooh, that's a nashin. Like, just like say that every time, like, ooh, that's a rear gnashing. Um, but I haven't really come up with anything definitive. I really hope around one of these corners there's not a trout fisherman who's like, who the fuck is talking so loud while I'm just trying to fish? So let's hopefully avoid that. Um, yeah, looking for some slower water. Um, don't have waders. Ooh. Not slow, but a little bit, definitely a little bit nicer. Oh gosh, so muddy. All these holes, I assume, probably correctly, got smacked. Jeez. Uh, All these holes probably got smacked this morning. Yeah, this is, this is garbage. I need to keep going. Um, but yeah, just trying to think of new catchphrases, catchphrases, if I can say it correctly. Um, because Godding's good, you know, like um, Jeremy Wade, probably my, aside from Diners, Drivings, and Dives, my favorite TV show, River Monsters. He's got a fish on, and he has a British accent, so that really seals the deal. Um, but if I say got him, you know, that, that kind of gets old. So I'm thinking like, ooh, that's a nation, like something like that. The occasional time I do use this plug, I definitely have like fish pique their interest, and they'll like kind of smack it, but... I don't know, it just, I've never sealed the deal. I'm not a closer. I'm kind of like an opener who then, who then kind of just pitters out and gives up. So let's see if we can close the deal here. It's a little bit big of a profile, I, assu I assume, for some of these trout, but I mean, there's some decent sized trout in this stream. Now granted, we're in a heavily fish section. Yeah, I honestly, I don't even know how to fish plugs for trout. I'm really just like bombing it out and then kind, oh, and then kind of like 
you know, giving a little jig pop, jig pop, jig pop, jig pop. All right, so we just got to the first actual decent, nice hole. Again, this place gets creamed, it looks like, based on the fisherman's trail, but there's a real nice hole up here. So I'm gonna be on the quiet side. I'm gonna stand really far back. Again, I'm trying to catch my very first trout on a plug. I only fish with rooster tails, so I'm trying to see if it's possible. Oh, some just smacked it. Jeez, some just smacked it. Oh. Okay, so definitely just saw a fish swipe at this. So it's definitely possible, and they definitely like what it looks like. Dang, missed him. I mean, that's encouraging that it went after it, but crap. Yeah, a real decent, real decent, probably like 12 inch wild brownie just went after this plug. So now I know they'll smack it. I kind of doubt that specific fish will smack it again. Oh, another one just smacked it, dang. Jeez, another trout just smacked it. All right, I just got the chills. I need to like put my game face on, holy cow. All right, so I, I really didn't think this plug would do anything, but I just got smacked twice. Darn it, darn, darn, darn. Got him, got him, big guy, 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 got him. Got him, yes, yes. First trout on a plug. First trout on a plug, monster wild brownie on Spring Creek. Wow, monster, monster. Gonna wet my hands, hands are super wet. Let's get a quick look at this guy. Monster trout, monster trout. Jeez, 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 jeez. Look at this freaking trout. This is probably 14 inches. Look at this guy. Jeez, beautiful reds, jeez, beautiful, beautiful reds. So we're gonna get this guy like right back in. I just wanna, we're gonna get him right back in the water. Probably gonna need my pliers. Caught him on the brown trout colored plug. Jeez, one more look and then we're gonna get him back in. Jeez, look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy in my hand. Jeez, monster. Absolute monster. So we just got our first. Oh, no, don't fall in. Crap, same foot got wet again. Gosh darn it. Um, My feet got wet, whatever. Um. We just got our first uh, trout on a plug, because I usually use a, oh, oh, geez, one just went airborne for it. Oh, I don't know if you saw that right there. Something just went like directly to the surface, jeez. Let's try that again. Um, we're trying to catch one more before we bail. Dang, that fish tried to smack it. I don't have waders on, so I can't really get where I want. Um, these trout are definitely liking this brown trout colored uh, plug, like a lot. I just really can't cast where I want, and I keep getting this green crap stuck on it. Um, let's try one right here. fish definitely just went after this like hard um I'm in a really tight tight casting lane <clears throat> it's a good cast just trying to avoid got him 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 that's a nice one that'll be oh jeez almost fell that'll be another nice one all right so we got trout number two on the plug um, let's get a quick look at them, wetting our hands, hands are wet, get a look at this fish, real nice fish, real nice, Tr trout number two on the plug, so I'm gonna get this plug out of him, and get this fish right back in the water, excellent. Alright, so in this short little fishing session, um, we set out to prove that I personally could catch a wild trout on a plug, a nice uh, brown trout colored rapala. And I did. Uh, I managed to get a nice, um, probably 12, 13 inch, maybe 14, but I'll say 12 inch uh, wild brown trout. And then another was probably around eight or nine inches. Um, so yeah, excellent. Um, I think that's probably all we got for today. So uh, as always, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.